Well, hello there. One of the most popular videos that I have on this channel is the one I posted about a month ago on the new Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro. And from that, I've gotten a ton of questions, one of them being, how do I set up VLANs on the Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro that propagates to the rest of the network? And it just so happens that I'm in the middle of creating a video that I'm gonna post next week on building a 10 gigabit per second video editing network. And in that video, I set up VLANs on, you, you guessed it, the Ubiquiti Dream Machine Pro. So I figured, why wait? Why don't I just take that portion of the video and post it for you right now so those of you that are looking for this topic can get right to it. So without further ado, here we go. Now, one of the things I need to do in this configuration is set up a video editing VLAN. We'll call it VLAN 20 with a subnet of 172.20.0.0 slash 24. The reason I'm doing that is I want a segment dedicated just to this 10 gigabit per second video editing. Shown here is the 10 gigabit per second connections, but not shown is that this Synology actually has a one gigabit per second connection for all the other stuff that we use it for, video streaming, video surveillance. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that this little box does for our house. So by doing this, I ensure that only the video editing traffic is using that. Now, this is going to be an abbreviated version of what I also have on my YouTube channel, which is setting up VLANs in Unify. But the difference is this will be the first time I'm setting up a VLAN using the Unify Dream Machine Pro. So let's dive into the adventure, right? So I'm going to go back to the Unify console and let's see if it follows the same system. I'll go to uh, settings, and this is a, a new interface. Notice they now have a classic mode that you can go to, but I'm going to stick with the new interface. It's pretty sweet looking. Uh, so under networks, we've got the local networks, and right now this is a home network, so I've just got the 192.168.1.0. I'll click on create a new local network, and this is new. Uh, create a standard network <laughs> or an advanced network. That's like, do you want to drive the Pinto or the Ferrari? I mean, come on, let's let's go advance. Uh, network name, this will be uh, video editing, right? Uh, network purpose, it looks, oh, this is new. Corporate guest or VLAN only. Oh, look at that. Th that was actually a missing feature previously because uh, corporate, it looks like sets up a full DHCP server and all this other stuff. If you just want a VLAN, you can do that. I, you know what? I'm going to go corporate because I want to set up the Dream Machine Pro to also hand out uh, the subnet. The VLAN ID right here will be VLAN 20. Network size, small LAN is fine. Let's change the IP address. Now, if you haven't done this before, one of the things to, to watch out for, this is not normal for network equipment, is they have the gateway IP slash subnet. Notice it's a dot one, and that's because Unify tries to make everything really easy by, by setting this up to configure DHCP, the routing, and the VLAN all at the same time. So let's take this and modify those uh, subnet ranges. I bet you eventually that will automatic. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, I bet you I could have just clicked the link, right? Uh, so domain name, I am using elgin.local for my house. Uh, DHCP snooping. Uh, okay, this is all the DHCP. Uh, configuration that we can set up that's, we'll just say, in addition to what I'm doing right now. Uh, but for now, click on done. That should, yep, there we go, video editing, create the VLAN, which is now uh, the, the only one beyond VLAN 1. It doesn't show the 1 on there. So that's the first piece. Second piece is now we have to go create a switch port configuration profile. This is weird. If you've never done VLANs in Ubiquity before, that's different than uh, you do on normal network equipment. So watch this. You're going to go in and you're going to create a switch port profile. Um, and actually, if you, if you hang on, look back here. Look back here. This is showing everything. You've got all uh, disabled. You've got LAN, which is VLAN 1, and video editing, this is VLAN 20. Now, those I did not create. They're just there by default. So I'm going to click on create a new switch port profile. I'm going to call this full trunk, you know, which is probably the same as that all, but I just like having it here. So it says, what is the native VLAN? That's just LAN. Um, and I'll, I'll select everything else. So tag networks, this will be what are the tag networks on the trunk. The only one will be my video editing because the LAN will be the native. Um, if I had a voice over IP VLAN, I could uh, mark that. I'm assuming that's because it does quality of service. If I want to do some of the other advanced options, rate limiting, things like that, I can. Click on done, boom. Okay, so, so we still have yet to configure this. The last piece is assigning the switch ports 
that's the devices, the, the VLAN configuration. So I'm going to go to my, uh, I've got the uh, Unify, let's see, where are we? The Unify switch in the MDF. I'll click on this guy. It tells me what, what these things are connected to. So this is the trunk uh, that goes to the main switch. So I'm going to click on that, uh, click the edit button, and we will put that in the switch port profile of a full trunk, right? Which allows it to send the tagged VLAN across that. Apply. Good. Uh, we'll also go to this guy right here. Notice uh, the status on that. Status is 10,000 uh, full duplex, which is 10 gigabit per second. That's the one connected to the Synology guy. So I'm going to click on that guy, and we will assign him. We're not using tagging for him. I'm putting him in the dedicated video editing VLAN, right? So I'll save that guy. Now, go back to the network diagram. That means I've put this port in the untagged VLAN 20. I've set up this port as the tagged, which is a native of one, but also has the tag port of 20 on there. Ooh, I'm going to need to set this. I've, if I have any hope of DHCP working, I need to set this as a tagged configuration to the UDM Pro as well. And then set this. Man, I got way too many switches in this house. I've got this as a tag board over here to the 10 gig switch in my office. And then this will be an untagged port in VLAN 20 that allows this guy to communicate all the way through to the Synology. So I'm going to click back here on the XG6POE in my office. Notice, it, it actually notates these in the graphic of what these are. It recognizes this is the uplink that goes back to the main, main switch in my house. So I'm going to click the edit on that, change the switch port to a full trunk. That's my configuration. Apply. And if you can look right here, I have yet to connect this switch over to my computer. That will be VLAN 2 eventually. This is this over here is the uplink, my purple cable. Um, then I've got one going to a WAP and one going to the IP phone that's sitting over whoosh, right there on my coffee table. So, so this will be the port that eventually t connects to the 10 gig card on my computer. Thus, I'm going to go to port number two right here, hit the edit button, change the switch port profile to video editing. Apply. That should give you a feel for how the configuration works. I'm going to do the rest of the configuration off camera to save some time.